Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. We say good morning right now to Dr. Laura L. Douglas, president of Bristol Community College. Hello, Laura. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. I certainly did. I hope you did as well. Yeah. Not too much turkey. Uh, No trip to fan. I never go overboard. I think I just have a normal serving all the time. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Ma gives us leftovers. And they, you know what? The Thanksgiving leftovers are never, never the same. What do you mean? To me. I don't know. I love warming up the meal again. How do you warm it up, though? Uh, Mike, you do? See, it always yeah. dries things out for me. Oh, I'm probably okay. doing it. I don't uh, I think it's better. I think it's better than the original day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes. Yeah. The, tr- the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call it Thanksgiving, I guess, Laura. Laura, is this the last time we're going to be talking to you? I believe it is. Oh. Yes, I'm January. They haven't talked you out of that yet. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm they- ready to to yeah wrap ready to wrap things up. It's been a wonderful uh, tenure here at Bristol Community College. I've just had so much fun, and we've made a lot of progress. and And now I'm ready to to retire and do some things a little differently in life. Good for you. So, what what are some of your proudest moments? You get, you probably have a, a, a whole ton of them. Oh, yeah. Really a lot of them. You know, when I first came, it was really to try to create a college-going culture here in the in the southeastern Massachusetts region, and we've made great progress there. We've, we've um, really embedded a lot of technology to help with our processes, to make it a better uh, uh, system for our students that, you know, kind of struggle sometimes. Like, how do I go to college? How do I do the forms? How do I apply? What about financial aid? We've really zipped that up into a really simple uh, process process with lots of support. And um, when I started, we were the fifth largest community college in Massachusetts. And then a couple years ago, we went to the fourth largest community college. And then this fall, we have hit the third largest community college nice. mark Great. Uh, of the 15. And um, and our graduates, they just give us such high remarks and they say that they would uh, certainly recommend uh, others to Bristol Community College. So, you know, when you're going out on that note, it feels really great. You can't leave till the number one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the team can keep it going. They, they've learned a lot. It's a fantastic uh, bunch of faculty and staff we have here. Uh, Dr. Laura, what year did you start? 2017. 2017. All right. So, so, seven and a half years. Yeah. Yep. So what is... But ch- I also say that COVID, you know, I, it was also leading through COVID. So those are like dog years. So <laughs> I to 25. What has changed uh, if you, when you look back at 2017 uh, from then till now? Uh, you know... You know, COVID did uh, uh, certainly change a lot. Uh, I would say that many students uh, learned that they like online learning, uh, and that's a very significant part of what we do. Uh, uh, certainly, we have many face-to-face classes still at our, our four locations in Attleboro, Taunton, New Bedford, and Fall River. But, uh, you know, the pandemic really did cre- create this idea that learning can be very flexible on my own timeline. I can work. I can go to school. Uh, So those are really important. And I think the other big thing is offshore wind. You know, we um, opened the National Offshore Wind Institute, 40,000 square feet on the on the waterfront in New Bedford, uh, supporting this industry. Uh, This industry couldn't exist without mandatory accredited training, which we provide. It's the only one stop uh, in the nation uh, that we know of that is, uh, you know, that is doing all of this various training and uh, in a very convenient format. Uh, they can get their meals at our, our location. Uh, they can stay nearby in hotels. Uh, sometimes people call us up one day and they say, can you get my you know staff in for training this afternoon? And uh, so we've just been very responsive to the industry, and that's really good for the South Coast. So what, what is going to be next for you? A bunch of cruises? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not really a big cruiser, but um, I call my plan, my retirement plan, the fat plan uh that stands for f is for fun a is for adventure and t is for travel oh that's fantastic Um, 
<laughs> yes, and so we have uh, a bucket list uh, for travel, and we'll start with some of the most adventurous places, Machu Picchu, the Amazon, Africa, Mongolia, those kinds of places. And then, uh, you know, as we get older, maybe we'll do the cushy cruises or something. But uh, Look at that. He right goes now, it's, it's really fun adventure and travel. Get out there, get moving and uh explore and uh catch up with my husband you know he's been like the best part of my life and has supported me in this adventure and he's sacrificed a lot and i want to make sure that i give him some time and um and uh and hopefully when we retire we won't you know we won't uh we won't uh, be too hard on each other that will be an adjustment <laughs> spending all that time together yeah. but uh, i we love each other and i'm sure it's going to be fun uh kind of paddle boarding off into the sunset set uh, of retirement. Oh, you earned Super. it. Super. Yeah. That is quite an adventure. My goodness. What were you going to say, Pete? I, I just go to Disney every year. I was going to say, you just go to Disney every year, yeah. and she's going around the world. Hey, listen, I went to Africa. You did? Yeah, the Kilimanjaro Safaris at Animal Kingdom. Okay. Wow. Okay. There you go. See? Almost like the real thing. They said I was in Africa. <laughs> you know, it's been a pleasure to talk to you once a month, uh, Dr. Laura, and I hope that uh, you well, feel free to call into the show at any time. Uh, even to just to let us know uh, what your trips were like or if you ever want to participate in any of the contests, you'd go right ahead. Well, thank you. And a great shout out to you and your radio station for covering such wonderful local news like higher education and Bristol Community College. Uh, we really thank you for being a part of this community. It's, it's wonderful to have a local radio station like you. I will pass that on to the fantastic team here, uh, especially Alan, who's the head of all of that stuff. And uh, Laura, uh, what a career. Congratulations and uh, have a ball. Enjoy. In your retirement. Thank you. Take care now. Okay, take Bye care. Now. Have a great day.